Hello everybody and welcome back to Cook with Zunsar. Today's recipe is beef tortillas and I'm going to show you how to make tortillas at home. So let's go and make this recipe. To make this amazing beef tortillas, we're going to start to make the marination. So in a bowl, we're going to add one and a half tablespoon of garlic paste. And we're going to add one teaspoon of chili powder, red chili powder. And then one tablespoon of chili garlic sauce. You can use any chili sauce or uh, something that can make a little more spicier. And uh, if you don't want to put red chili powder, you can use paprika instead. So don't be so chili. So we're gonna add salt for taste and also some black pepper for taste. Then after adding all this, we must add our vinegar. So we're going to add around 2 tablespoons of vinegar and then give a good mix of all this marination. Some people don't eat beef, so instead of beef, you can use mutton or you can use also chicken. It depends on what you want. So after giving a good mix of this marination, we're going to add the beef. Most of people are gonna think what kind of beef she's using. No, I do wash my beef. I don't like it with so much blood on the beef. So I wash it nicely till it becomes like this whitish color. So some people ask me, are you using chicken? No, that is not chicken, that is beef. So I added this beef and now I'm gonna mix all this very nicely until all the marination goes inside the beef and you can leave this for 30 minutes or more to get all the marination inside then we're gonna take a frying pan we're gonna add some olive oil a splash of olive oil and then we're gonna add our beef and we must cover all this and let it cook nicely until get soft and the beef is cooked if needed to add water to cook until done you can add little little of water so our steak is done and now we can start to make our tortillas as you can see when i'm breaking the steak it is breaking so the, it's cooked very nicely before making the steak, I fry some chips also. I use uh, homemade chips. Now after frying the chips and the steak is done, we're gonna make the tortilla. This tortilla recipe that I'm making don't need to stay and uh, rise. It, you can make it same time. So in a bowl, I added two cups of uh, all-purpose flour and we're gonna add one tablespoon of sugar and one teaspoon of salt, all this inside the flour. And after adding uh, the sugar and salt, we're gonna add around two teaspoons of baking powder. In this recipe, I don't use yeast, I use baking powder to make the tortillas. After adding the baking powder, it's time to add oil. So I'm gonna add around two tablespoons of oil. You can use any oil or olive oil, it depends on you. Then give a good mix of all this. And then we're gonna add one and a half cup of milk, it must be warm milk. You must add gradually. Keep mixing so you don't end up adding so much milk but it is around one and a half cup just add gradually to make a soft dough after mixing all those with the spoon and all incorporated now you we need to use our hands and knead this dough very nicely so I transfer the dough with all that flour in my clean surface to knead this lovely dough so we must knead all this nicely so no lump stays and the dough be soft and very nicely 
all incorporated so at this time our dough is very nicely incorporated it's knead very nicely now we have to separate this dough you can separate weighing each ball to roll it uh, you can weigh it and to make all the same size but I didn't want it because I didn't have so much time this is a faster recipe so you must leave the dough aside and then in your surface you must add some flour and take one of the ball that we made just take a portion of the dough and roll it round as a tortilla we must roll it very thin so when we fry it it's still gonna grow because of the baking powder so as thin as possible you just roll it so just roll your tortilla in round shape and then it's time to fry them if you're new to the channel hello my name is sarah and welcome to cook with zunsai if you like our videos don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so you get our new videos updates whenever i post so our tortilla is nicely round so i took a pan and i let it warm then we must add the tortilla wrap and when it's bubbling you must turn the tortilla so you just keep turning the tortillas until it's puffing and all is like brown from both sides so our tortilla is done at this stage keep all the tortillas aside in the plate and then it's time to assemble our tortilla in a plate so in one chopping board i add my tortilla and i spread some mayonnaise and then i'm gonna add my beef and i cut some veggies i cut some lettuce so i'm gonna add some lettuce also some sliced tomatoes some sliced onions and also some chips that we fried instead of lettuce tomato and onion you can make a coleslaw and add it also and i added some chili sauce so now just roll this tortilla and add in a, an aluminium paper so whenever you want to make it hot make it warm you can put it into the oven and it's gonna get warm so our tortilla is done it looks so delicious gonna make one more tortilla for you to see i added in the tortilla wrap some mayonnaise some steak some lettuce some tomatoes and some onions and some chips and i added chili sauce roll the tortilla add in aluminum foil and our tortilla is done and is ready to eat so now it's time to enjoy this lovely tortilla wraps hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so you get our new videos updates whenever i post so i cut one of the tortilla and you can see how beautiful it is looking from inside and thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video now i'm gonna enjoy this lovely tortilla